YouTube. The Lakers have lost. I'm a Lakers fan. Kobe Bryant is my favorite basketball player. I've always loved the Lakers. The Lakers have lost. I'm going to tell you the reason why the Lakers lost. During the offseason, the Lakers traded Dwight Howard, who averaged, what, 14 points? 15 points last year? Off of like 70, 73% from the field. And like nine rebounds. They traded that. An athletic big man. Dwight Howard is not, yeah, he's not MVP Dwight Howard. He's not just jumping out the, out the gym. But he could still move on defense. They traded that for Mark Gasol. Bro, Mark Gasol. Oh my. I've never seen Mark Gasol in a full sprint. Ever. Mark Gasol is so bad, bro. Oh my gosh. Bro, his stats this season were terrible. He was like 40-something percent from the field. Oh, my gosh. He had less points than Dwight Howard. I'm just like, bro, what? When they made that trade, I was so mad, bro. I knew that trade was not going to work, bro. You already got LeBron and AD. Those two guys are not, bro, LeBron is not the same. Anthony Davis is not a, Anthony Davis is not just super athletic. He is a, he's one of them big men who like to shoot threes. He's really like slick. He's all like, come on, come on, bro. JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard were so good for us last year because they were big bodies that can actually move. Dwight Howard can actually move. Mark Gasol is like, bro, oh my gosh, bro. I'd rather we just kept Danny Green, to be honest. And I, I really dislike Danny Green. But Mark Gasol, bro, Martin Saul, if you are watching this, you're the reason the Lakers lost this year. If LeBron James had Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee instead of you with no AD, he could have he could have beat the he could have beat the Suns. Because you're not a presence. You're not. You're like if you switch on Devin Booker. He's going to cook you every time. Bro, if you switch on me, I'm going to cook you. You Mark Gasol moves like a tree with legs. Like you literally don't you're you're just tall. That's it. You don't have no kind of Swiftness or anything like, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. Dwight Howard had more points than you, more rebounds than you. Like last year, Dwight Howard's stat line is like, I don't even blame him for going to get that bag, bro. I don't even blame him because the, the, his stats were lit. The man, the man shot like 80% with like 14, 15 points. Why would you trade that? 
Why would you not offer him more money? And he was not a pushover. He's not one of them. Yeah, he might get he might get attacked. He might get thrown out of game. But I'd rather have that than Mark Gasol, who's bro. What? The, oh my gosh, bro. I woke up this morning and I and I don't know why I just believed that Lakers could win. It's just. I'm just thankful my boy Dwight Howard got him a championship ring. You know, I really wanted the Lakers to repeat. If they would have kept the same team, literally the only the only person they needed to get rid of was Danny Green, bro. They could have kept Rondo. They could have kept everyone. They could have kept Dwight Howard, bro. That. Mark Gasol, bro. The only difference between Mark Gasol and Montrez Harold is that Mark Gasol's way taller. If if Trez was Mark Gasol's height, bro, he would be a monster because he actually can move. He just get bullied by the bigs. I mean. But Marcus saw you, 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 bro, bro. Marcus saw shot like forty something percent, cause you be shooting all these threes. We don't need that. We don't. The Lakers do not need that, bro. The Lakers need to play traditional big basketball with a good point guard. Let LeBron run point sometimes. But they literally... Look, look, this is all they had to do. Same team they had. Drop Marcus all, keep Dwight Howard. They could have ran uh, Schroeder like a traditional point guard. Let LeBron play off the ball. You know, 75% of the time that the two of them were on the court. <laughs> And just run big pick and roll basketball. Dwight Howard in pick and roll was still a threat. Mark Gasol in pick and roll is not a threat, bro. I'm not scared of, of a pick and roll with Mark Gasol. I'm I'm not switching. I'm not doing nothing. I'm just gonna go underneath it. Whoever Marcus Saw's man is is gonna drop back. And then if whoever's carry whoever's the ball carrier, if they shoot, they shoot. But we're not gonna let y'all drive and we're not worried about a lob to fuck we're not worried about a lob to Marcus Saw, bro. He's so bad, bro. Marcus Saw. Marcus Saw. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dwight Howard, man. I really wish we wouldn't have got... I was... I... Bro. I should have made this video when they made that trade, man. I knew it from the time they made that trade. I said, bro, Marcus Gasol is not it. Everyone was so turned up. It's like, why? Why? Mark Gasol is booty, bro. Why would you trade a guy shooting 75, 80% from the field? I think the White Howard shot like 74% from the field, bro. That's ridiculous. That means he was making three out of four shots every time he put a shot up with 14 points a game. Bro, 14 points a game, we will... T Mark Gasol had like... I think Marcus Saw had like what? 15, 16 rebounds this whole series? How are you a big man and you only got 15, 16 rebounds through six games? And then he had 
like 25 points, 26 points throughout the whole series. Bro, you are the reason we lost. If we would have had Dwight Howard and the bigs that we had last year, it's besides you and Anthony Davis would have went down, we would not have been worried about that, bro. Because with you, it's like we have no one down there when we have you. We have no, we have no bigs. We have no bigs when it's just you, Mark Gasol. Bro, I'm done with this video. I'm, I'm absolutely done. This video is making me upset. I'm not even that, I'm not even just that mad. It's just that, bro, you're so... Just big for nothing, bro. Like, what is the point, bro? Now, LeBron's got to go through this. And LeBron's got kicked out in the first round because of you. I don't even know why LeBron even let this trade go down. I think that the whole reason they that you got traded to them is because of Hollywood. Uh, just to sell tickets or something. Had to be. Had to be, bro. They could not have expected you to do anything. The man, bro, the man moves like a boulder, bro. He moves like... And then he tries, oh my, like, when I see Mark Gasol playing basketball, and he's trying to, like, orchestrate, like, he's trying to, like, tell guys where to go and stuff, oh my gosh, I would be so frustrated if I was on his team, bro. Like, did you catch one alley-oop off of a fucking pick and roll this whole season? At least with Dwight Howard, we were running pick and rolls comfortably, bro. You have to, you, if you're a team playing the Lakers with LeBron and Dwight Howard and Dwight Howard sets a pick, you're worried about him rolling and catching a lob, bro. You're worried about that. Dwight Howard is going to get offensive rebounds and dunk them. Yeah. yeah. Mark Gasol isn't going to get any rebounds, any offensive rebounds, because he's on the three-point line trying to shoot. I'm, I'm tired. I'm done. All right, YouTube. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just...